Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed part one of this video because in that video, Gursimran talks about what is consulting and what is a day in the life of a consultant like and what is a good profile to make it to the consulting world. And in case you're looking for more value add, I would highly recommend to also check out Seco Selects Consulting Academy, which is an excellent resource, I believe, at just 83 rupees per month. I'll put link to both of them in the description and in the pinned comment. Moving on to part two now. In fact, I, I would love to know what you learned at Bain through the various projects that you were a part of. If you could just like walk us through maybe one or two projects that are very close to your yeah. heart. You know, what exactly did you do? What were some takeaways? Yeah, I think the big ones and of course, like without going into too much like specificity, I would say from like the context of working with multiple business problems, I had a couple which, which have been fantastic. I think the, the biggest one has been creating you know we were involved in this like post merger integration and i think that was that was actually fantastic because we were seeing like two firms come together and trust me there is so much to do after even after a merger has gone through you have like these two different companies that are coming together there are different cultures there are different aspects there are different ways that they do things but you have to become one business at the end of the day and what are the things that you need to do in order to get there? Uh, and I think it was just, again, big business problem, merge these two companies together. Small mm -hmm. business problems, get the sales units together, get the HR units together, get, you know, the manufacturing stuff sorted. So I think it's just, it was, it was my, it was actually my first case. And that is very, very close to my heart still, because I think it was just a lot of, I'll, it was just like a primer into, you know, how business problems manifest themselves in real life. I had done like so many M&A cases before I went into consulting, but th that was not in the playbook. <laughs> I must tell you, that was nowhere in the playbook. So like you it's, said, it's just like a mini version of the actual it's a Very, very mini version <laughs> of how things are in real life. And it was it was exhilarating, I would say. And the fact that I got to work with so many people and it reaffirmed my choice that, you know, I love working with people at the end of the day, whether it is my team or it's my clients. It's just it's just great to be with people who have had so much experience in so many fields mm -hmm. and a have so much energy and everybody is in the same sort of, you know, war room working with you, achieve, trying to achieve the same goals. It's just so much energy to get out of. Uh, uh, and to get, you know, that that boost in your life as well that, okay, this is the problem I'm going to work on and we're going to get it to wherever we want it to be. So I think it reaffirmed things for me that, you know, people's skills are really important and A, I, B, I enjoy them as well. The second one that I really liked and that really stands out for me is uh, this commercial excellence piece that I did, which was the problem essentially was we want to increase sales on our digital platform. And that's that was literally it. But how to do that, uh, you know, trying and understanding what customers of the company actually wanted and then trying to align ourselves internally with that. I think that was a big, big one. But it was so interesting to see that, you know, a, a lot of the business principles that we used to study in the offline world do not apply online. So it's a different ball game altogether. So I think it's just learning of very, very different dimensions, like across these two cases, which were in like poles apart industries. Uh, one was, of course, in infrastructure. And the second one was, of course, like e-commerce and a version of that. It's, it's a breadth of experience that I could never have created on my own. And the fact that consulting sort of packaged it all and gave it to me like in a very, very sort of, yeah fast ramp up you know journey it was fantastic it was just great to be doing that uh and across my cases i think whether it's like increasing sales or performing like a due diligence on an asset or you know just making sure organizational you know principles are working right working on the hr side of things working internally within bain as well on a couple of things that we were doing I've done a lot of pro bono work as part of Bain with like women entrepreneurs, as well as, you know, I worked for uh, an athlete management nonprofit. So I think it's just, there is enough and more work to be done. And if I look at like this, and I have just spent three plus years doing it. 
it's just been three years but the experience that i've packed in those three years has been way more than that so i think it's just across my cases it's just been diverse but very very good learning yeah that's that's so amazing to hear i i still remember my first case solving at i am ahmedabad even though i yeah. never like made it to consulting but i still remember the case i think it's just very close to you okay so you mentioned teams yeah. right i am very intrigued to know more about the hierarchy so to say at the companies the consulting companies and if you could yeah. take bain's example and how do you grow what the career trajectory like you know yeah i think this is again i think i recently answered this for one of my seco mentors so i have this answer like right up my alley <laughs> um i think the hierarchy typically works every team has a, a, a consulting team is usually like an m plus 4 which is like a five person structure or maybe more if your problem is bigger uh so every team will have a partner Uh, which is like the highest level in the hierarchy so to say i don't like the word hierarchy but sure uh the the person who actually sort of sells the case and makes sure that we are engaging with the client like just sets the foundation and then we have an associate principal who is going to be in charge of like the day on day working of the case and the direction we are taking the manager is response is that one person who breaks that problem down into chunks that okay this is the problem that we are solving and these are the two or three parts that you know we need to get at uh the 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 below management the managers we have the consultants who are essentially owning their separate part of the problem so for example like we have three work streams they will usually be led by three consultants okay. and then we have associates and senior associates who work with the consultants to make sure that they're delivering the results to the problem so this is how a consulting team is typically structured there's no like one you know one size fits all of course it depends on the business context you might need like more associates a couple of times you might need more consultants a few places so it just depends on whatever business construct you're trying to work out of um, but usually usually it's like a five person team like with like a partner a manager and then you know a consultant and then an associate or two uh, and uh, otherwise if it's a larger team structure then it's double of this So essentially, I think the partner is the one who does the selling, and then the rest of it, the rest of the team is mainly engaged in like delivering the answer to the problem that we've been assigned with. And if I'm not wrong, after MBA, you join as a senior associate, right? Uh, you join as an uh, yeah, you join as a, essentially a senior associate. So what what would be award. like the entry level position after your graduation? If if you've had a mentee or someone you know who made it directly after college, what's that position? Yeah. It is associate. It's called an associate. Uh, so it it the, the of course like the the designation and the nomenclature differs across companies. Uh, I think McKinsey would have a very different one, and Bain would have a different one. But essentially, you have you're working as you're working as an associate means you're working on like the core part of the problem that you're doing a lot of like the 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 skill set majorly involves like looking at data looking at like a smaller part of the problem to make sure you're coming up with the answer to that and that rolls up into like a bigger problems and then of course you're answering like the overall question the client has set out for the team so out of like business school depending and that also depends on the number of years of experience you have had so for example if you have a lot of years of experience let's say you worked for 3 years before joining your mba program as well you might join at a role which is slightly higher than a senior associate as well mm-hmm. so it depends on like what experience you've had but typically people join at the associate level they work at the associate level for a year year and a half sometimes 2 years and then the next position is consultant uh of course this nomenclature i would say differs uh i think at at some places you join as an analyst and you become an associate after 2 years but associate is synonymous with like consultant so okay. it's a certain, yeah even though the definitions may differ but the work essentially remains the same okay and um, when you mentor people at seco they would yeah. typically be joining i believe as the analysts or the associates yeah. at as they yeah. so have yeah. you had anyone that you mentored or someone you know of who recently made it without being from i i'm just asking this question because i really want to give and instill hope in people who believe that they can't make it through i want yeah. them to know that 
other examples of people who did not make it via iits or nits or delhi university someone you know of who yeah. got into consulting i know a couple of people who have done that uh of course the journey is slightly more like it's not it's not like a straight cut path into consulting if you have not done that but there are people who have done it uh so uh, if you join uh and trust me there are multiple ways of doing this so if you join like the bain capability network which is like the bain uh and it's an analyst role which sort of feeds into consulting eventually mm-hmm. so you join that that's your segue into consulting a couple of people i know have worked in like boutique consulting firms and have worked in like a very niche consulting firm for a couple of years because that was the opportunity that they got right out of school and working in that for a few years they were able to like come into bain eventually so we have had like n and more journeys like there's no like right answer to how you get into consulting of course the easiest and the most direct way is to like get out of like get it out of schools that campus place like you know into consulting yes. as well and where you know consulting firms hire from directly that's the right answer that's the best answer but that's not the only answer and as we grow and as consulting firms are also becoming bigger and bigger uh trust me they are expanding into more avenues where they get people from uh, and a lot of them are you know again like i said you can you can be from like a non name college but you can have picked the roles that build that skill set for you and at some point in your life and in that professional trajectory you can you can say that you know this is what i learned and hence now i think i am i am ready to get into like mainstream consulting and trust me mm. consulting firms have said yes to that They that is more. honestly super super inspiring and yeah. just a controversial question if i may people yeah. say that you know consultants don't sleep that the working hours are insane if you could shed some light on both the consulting working hours as well as the travel requirements i already yeah. know about the perks so i know that they are like amazing but yeah. <laughs> would love to know about the working hours as well as the travel part uh, all right consultants don't sleep not true <laughs> 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 period um no i think consulting i would say it, the hours honestly if you if out of school i i find it hard to you know say that you know you're not spending if all right i'm going to backtrack a little bit if i talk about the hours in consulting consulting hours are probably like a little more than the average b post b school career hours maybe just a little more mm-hmm. but trust me there is so much flexibility that you're working with you can make whatever you want out of your schedule because we know that you know there there needs to be like stuff that needs to be done to answer the problem uh we do take that into account that you know people have different things and different working styles and different aspects of their life that bring energy to them and that is what we solve for i think hours is just one way of looking at whether you know your life at consulting is something that you know is sustainable or not mm-hmm. and we look at hours for sure and i think consulting firms like monitor that very very closely we don't work we of course we work more than the average hours but we don't work are like insane hours that you know consultants don't sleep the hours where consultants don't sleep myths come from like that's <laughs> absolutely not true um so i would say two things to that aspect number one consulting firms really monitor the hours that the, that you know the consultants are working and if it goes beyond like a certain minimum a certain maximum sorry then trust me there are measures taken asap and i think bain has done it always like at bain like the 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 most important thing that and it has been reiterated to us a couple of times and we have seen that play out in action as well is the fact that you are you are actually getting energized by your job and they make sure that you are like because you are the best version of yourself and you are going to bring you know your best self into projects only when you are only when you get energy out of it right mm-hmm. I think Bain does solve that very, very actively. I think we've had we've had so many conversations. Like if things got tough, I have flagged it a couple of times, and things have you know gone back to like a uh, normal so soon. I did not even realize. So I think yeah, firms are on top of this. Number one. Second, 
we also answer for you know what are the things that out of work that you would like to do that will make your days better so for example for me it was working out for example i do want to work out every single day of the week or i do want to work out at least three of the five work days that i have and i have not had a case where i've not been able to do that ever like i that's the expectation that i set up front and everybody is aligned with it and everybody respects it and people make sure that they find a way to make that happen for me and it's incredible that i do that so and and trust me like that made so much of a difference so even if i was working for whatever like 10 or 12 whatever number of hours it is it was it was great work because i was getting what i wanted out of it professionally but i was also getting what i wanted out of it outside of work as well so i think that those are two very very different things on the travel aspect it's what you want to make of it like travel is a part of the job period it's one of the things why i like consulting as well honestly like i am one of those people who like travel it's just like that you know waking up on a monday morning getting that you know cup of coffee in at the airport and just you know getting on a flight going to uh, whatever place i was i was at that time that was exciting for me to be very honest with you it was just a part of life that i would love to have back and i think consulting post pandemic will evolve in a different way than consulting pre pandemic yes. was i don't know how much travel we're going to do as consultants but i think that i loved that part of the job it was it was just so great to you know be in a different location be in different cities experience you know a part of you know, a part of work in you know in a different location which is and yes. which is a different a different skill set it teaches you so many things as well but i like the travel to be very honest with you and if you don't think you like it there are there are ways of making it work i know people have actually specifically requested to not have any travel uh and that has been solved for so the people were doing cases in their home locations a lot of times so trust me and any times like someone asks me on seco whether you know consulting is going to be synonymous with travel i would say no consulting is synonymous with whatever you want to make of it like whether it's hours or it's travel there's a lot of onus placed on you to make it a great experience for yourself and the companies and the firms are just there to make whatever you want happen which is which is great that's so good to know because of i think uh, two things primarily one is that this was like a myth buster like a big one i did yeah. not know this i did not know that the firms are so flexible and secondly because it's so commendable that a company like bain is doing so much for its employees it's like trying to understand where the pain points are and then solving for them like yeah. of course it's a consulting firm so it has to but then it's so amazing to know uh yeah. i would just like want to ask one more question with someone who is getting into consulting yeah. but is probably not sure of sticking around for a long time um i mean after listening to the session they may change their mind looking yeah. at a consultant who loves consulting so much but at the same time if someone has to exit consulting then what are the options available all right i'm not in the mind frame yet so <laughs> probably not the right person but i think yeah i i can tell you what i have seen happen uh so i think after consulting because you have been and trust me like this is literally uh one of the most asked questions a in consulting interviews like of course you talk about a lot of talk to a lot of people who are trying to recruit into consulting and I, and i talk i think via the ima consulting club etc cetera, etc cetera, like all of these are venues where you know you see people who are interested in consulting and of course like the seco platform i'm coming across like a lot of people who are trust me consulting is uh this hotbed of skill sets like you have someone who's worked in like 10 different industries which you which you normally don't see happen so often so i think enough and more roles are available for you if you want to transition out a couple of things and this is not an exhaustive list by any means but i've seen people go into strategy roles within startups which is great Absolutely. because then you're working on like one part of the business problem but then you're doing it with all the skill sets that you've learned in the past you're doing it for this like one business problem that is the most important for the firm that you're working with right so then you're like in the thick of things you're in the center and but you're like strategizing which is mm -hmm. great so the strategy roles in startups is one people go into private equity as well 
because i think as bain we do a lot of like private equity diligences which equips us for like great roles in private equity firms and if you're something someone who's interested on the investing side of things i would say that's a great 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 exit opportunity that's so good to hear so private equity i have seen a lot of pevc exits happening in the last couple of years uh uh the third one that i would like to say is product management is another one uh i think a lot of people have transitioned to like tech firms and are working in a product management capacity so that's another one that you do people have gone on from consulting to create their own startups which is again another very very good transition i have seen so many of my like ex colleagues who are now like a either working for a startup or who have built startups of their own which is great you can do that whenever also but i think the the way consulting is structured it gives you like such a structured frame of mind for thinking about businesses and that helps you in entrepreneurship as well if that's something that you want to pursue so trust me there are n and more exit opportunities if you know cons- you decide that you don't want to do consulting after a certain point in your life then you know it, everything is at your disposal you just need to know which opportunities to make the most out of no that's amazing that's amazing and you know uh, i know that you have said a lot of times that you know this question was asked by a sikho mentee and that just makes me feel good because i feel like i've sort of covered the questions that people might have like you know way i just hope i have in case they yeah. haven't been answered like feel free to drop it in the comments we will try getting back to you even though gur simran has been like fairly busy i know that you know i i'm i'm super grateful for you for like taking out time and i just have like one tiny bit request if if you still can address Go it for it which Go is it. like if if there's anything you would want to like say to the aspirants who want to get into consulting like any concluding tip anything that you probably feel they should know that can just like kick start oh. their journey into consulting what would it be i would say sign on to seco first like that is the first thing that you should be doing because and not not of course like or uh, we are joking about it but i think on a very very serious note like the first thing about you know taking that decision and taking that plunge into consulting is making sure that you know what you're in for hmm. uh because if that is not i i do know that consulting is one of the most preferred careers like getting out of b school investment banking is another one but a lot of times what i see is that there's a gap between what people think consulting is and what consulting actually is So I think use like platforms like Seco, and I think sign up for them. And trust me, I have been working with Seco for the last, uh, I think, more than a year now. They are answering all the right problems for students. Like, like you said, like these are literally the questions the students come to me for, and the fact that they're already out there answered for people from experts in the industry is great. So just like get exposure to that first of all. like get exposure to what consulting actually is from someone who has been in the profession uh once you decide that this is the thing for you then on to the next part which is you know just making sure that you have the right a skill sets b resume c you know whatever profile you're building over the years to answer the question on you know whether you know you will be able to make it or not and i think there are a lot of tips out there to make sure that you know you're ready for it and of course coming to the case interview that's the most important part of for anyone who wants to pursue consulting but i think to the aspirants like if i were to like sort of sum this all up in one sort of line i would say consulting is one great profession it's just a crash course in business live unadulterated a roller coaster exhilarating all at the same time but you will come out of it as someone who has seen it all and that trust me that's a great skill set to have so yeah shameless plug for consulting it's awesome and i i everybody should pursue it or at least give it a shot um if not a shot a consideration into you know whether you want to make this one of the careers of your life but in general i would say that you know no matter where you end up and no matter what college you're in no matter which life stage you're in trust me none of the opportunities out there are not available with with like how connected we are these days everything is possible you just need to know who to ask and where to go and i'm so glad you said that like i'm so yeah. 
glad you said that i've like I've, i'm tired of saying that and it's just that i needed some people to come on board who could like validate your format <laughs> especially someone who's credible like you yeah. i mean it's just like been an amazing experience knowing so much about consulting i wish i had taken it up like probably never maybe. too late <laughs> never too late <laughs> yeah like you said <laughs> no but it's yeah. been amazing and i think Thank after the session probably a lot more people would want to take it up and a lot more yeah. people would want to also sign up for you know getting mentored by you at seco so okay. if they have to like what's the next step what should they do sign up for seco select uh, i think that's the mentorship aspect of the platform so sign up for it and i think there there there's steps that of obviously you can add to you know the video that we're doing as well yeah, for people course, to just like have an easy access to it but i think once you're on seco select you can find me on there and then we can chat and i would be excited for it to happen i believe a lot of people are going to ping you there very very soon so all right <laughs> i hope i can i can contribute to you know the journey that they're awesome. having in which i'll be again I can't even tell you how much you already have, but I'm sure that the journey is gonna be there with Seco and with pleasure. any other platform. It's my pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Thank you, Thank so, you much, so much, Guru Simran, for joining us today. Thank you. And it's been like a start of a very long journey for me as well to you know sort of solve for questions. And you've been yeah. kind enough to be a part of the platform at such an early stage. Yeah. you're doing a great job this is thank incredible thank you thank you so much for being here thank you again to you, you as well as to seeku thank you so much this has been so great thank you